fish. Got one. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Weak fish. It's good. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of iFishLI. In the, today's video, me and my friend Mike, aka Long Island Lunkers on Instagram, went out on our kayaks on the North Shore, searching for some um, jumbo porgies and keeper size fluke to try and do a catch and cook on, but it ended up just being a crazy multi-species day. We ended up catching five species altogether. Uh, three of them are in the title, the other one was a sea robin, and the final species was a new species for me and you guys will find it out at the end of the video it's a pretty crazy species honestly really really cool fish you guys will see that at the end of the video though I don't want to give any spoilers out now but started out with a high low rig with really small hooks and uh, small pieces of clam searching for uh, some deep water with a rocky bottom for porgies and then I switched over to um, my first attempt at fluking for this year I was uh, dropping down a half ounce, uh, one, ha one and a half ounce bucktail in pink color matched up with the uh, four inch swimming mullet gulp in white color and I had a teaser above it. Uh, so the small, the lower one, the, the bucktail was for the hopefully to try and find some bigger fluke and the, the teaser, just anything smaller would hit that. And yeah, so stay tuned for the end of the video to find out what the uh, mystery awesome species was. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, all of the gear that I used in today's video will be linked in the description. For my uh, high-low rig, I was using a baitcaster. Um, and for my uh, fluking setup with the bucktail, I was using my like back bay setup that I use for bass, the ugly stick medium heavy. 4,000 size Fluger President XT and 20 pound braid. So, thank. Uh, let's get right to the video. Alright. It's so nice out here right now. Clams on a high ro high low rig on tiny hooks. First drop, let's go. It's so it's pretty deep here. I think two ounces is a little heavy. We started out by looking for deeper water for porgies because I think earlier in the season for porgies, they're in a little bit of deeper water, and the last time I caught porgies, they were also in the deeper water. Bottom's nice and rocky right here. We were also looking for a nice rocky bottom, because porgies tend to like a rocky bottom, so if you feel rocks uh, with your sinker, it means you're in a good spot for porgies. Damn it. I don't know if I'm recording. Okay, I'm recording. First fish of the day, absolutely tiny porgy. First fish of the day was a tiny porgy, not the keeper size fish I'm looking for. Got one? All right, let's just keep drifting here and then go back to that sign. What? We ended up getting a few sea robins while looking for porgies and a few other bycatches that you'll see yeah. in a minute. If it was bigger, I'd keep it. On this drop, I'm getting a weak fish. Fish.
Robin, definitely. Oh, fluke! On the clams. He was fighting weird. I'm, I'm probably gonna switch to a smaller bucktail. First fluke of the season on clams. He's pretty small. This guy's got some gnarly teeth. What? Dude, fluking at Montauk's sick. No! Oh well, I got on the GoPro. Drop trying for fluke of the year. When I caught a fluke on clams, I thought it would be a good time to switch over to the bucktail and gulp and see if I could get on any fluke while actually targeting them. I'm using a one and a half ounce bucktail in pink color matched with the white gulp and the white gulp teaser. So my thought is that the uh, bigger fluke will take the bucktail and the smaller fluke will take the teaser if they're around and you'll see works pretty well. Oh, I'm getting a bite. And I know that there are weak fish around here, so I'm praying for the miracle weak fish. Oh, I came off. Yeah. Oh, I have a bite. That fish I had. I had a bite. Got one. It's a good one. It's a really good one. That, you think that's keeper? What? That's bigger than the last one. It's a good one though. You think 16? You think 16? I mean, I'll measure him, but... He hit the teaser. Yeah. All right, let's see if he's 19. You got one? He's like 17. Means he's going back. Weak fish? No way. Mike just hooked into a weak fish. Bro. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. That's that's not a bad one. Here, I'll get a picture. Get close. 
Dude, that's sick. That's so sick. It's not even that small. I yeah, I know. I thought it was a fluke for sure. That's what it came up. Dude, Shit. he's got the fangs. Nice. Alright, get, get him back in quick though so he doesn't die. Dude, that's so sick. Oh, yo, there's stuff busting over there. I got a fish. Yeah. It's good. Oyster toadfish. Let's go. That's a giant oyster toadfish. That's a new species. Bro, how many new species are we, like, how many species are we gonna catch today? That's a huge oyster toadfish. Oh. Yeah, it was worth it. Dude, I don't know how to... Do they have, like, spines? Bro, he's biting the pliers. Holy... This is... This thing's so fat. I gotta get a good picture of him. I'm gonna get him back in. I have no idea. Yeah, can, can you just... He's really fat. You got it? A good picture? Yeah. Alright, let's get him back in. Dude, he just hit it right away. I thought it was going to be a porgy. That's so sick. So that is going to be all for today. Thank you guys for watching. So, end of the day with five species in total between me and Mike. Uh, started out with porgy, then some sea robins, then fluke. Then Mike got his weak fish. And then I got my 42nd species on my life list, the oyster toadfish. Um... For those of you that don't know, I keep a life list, which is basically just seeing how many species I can catch in my life. I started this back in 2019, so anything before it didn't count. So that is my 42nd species since 2019, saltwater and freshwater included. And i um, hoping to hit 50 pretty soon. So stay tuned to see how many more species I can catch in the future. And thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and make sure to subscribe and make sure to like this video if you liked it. And as always, all the gear in my um that I used in the video will be linked to the description. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.